Mm-hmm. Well, I got news for you. Mm-hmm. Bible talks more about hell than it does heaven. Mm-hmm. And we need to shun it with everything we've got because it's for eternity. Mm-hmm. Without end, weeping, wailing, gnashing of teeth. Yes. The worm never dies. Out of darkness, separated from God forever. Separated from everybody that you ever thought loved you. So oh, I'm going to be down there partying with my friends. You ain't going to see nobody. You're mm-hmm. pitch black down there. He said, out of darkness. Lies, lies, lies. It's all, I, I, I used to believe them lies. I know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Because I did it in my ignorance before I knew Christ and before I knew the truth. Mm-hmm. See, the Bible said, seek the truth. Yes. 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 That's right. And the truth will set you free. Amen. Yes, amen. I was set free from all those lies. Mm, all those deceptions. Mm-hmm. How many has been set free? Let me see. Some of you. Praise the Lord. Amen. We'll pray for the rest. Amen. Moving on. <laughs> Just don't fall for them robots. Amen. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. And don't forget the drones. Oh. What's that? Oh. Amen. That ain't the rapture. Is that a drone overhead? Because <laughs> after a while, they're going to be right in your face. The technology is off the hooks today. These are what some of the end days are going to look like. And we're just grabbing it, accepting it as a whole, the people, you know, blinded to it, sleeping again at the job. You know what I mean? And, 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 and there's going to be nowhere to hide. You wonder how the Antichrist is going to take over and have control of the whole world, everybody? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We used to think years ago it was by your social security card. <laughs> oh, we come a long way. Yeah. Huh? That's the last thing he's going to worry about. I mean, they got so much technology, you can't keep up with it. That's why you don't want to be here. I believe in the rapture. Amen. I believe yeah. the other papers don't get me before the other thing. Amen. Amen. I did five funerals in two months. Ooh. And that upper taker, the undertaker kept looking at me. I said, boy, don't you be eyeballing me up yet. I ain't ready. I got work to do for Jesus. He laughed. Amen. Put your tape measure away. Amen. Amen. I'm waiting on Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory Hallelujah. be to God. But listen to Psalms chapter 2, verse 4. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. He laughs at them. He knows what they're up to. You don't catch God by surprise. He said he laughs. For the Lord shall have them in derision. In confusion, in other words. Disarray. That time's coming. Amen. That time is coming. The world is a whole different place now. It's take on a different form, a different nature. It's not the same as it used to be. We, even America, there's two different Americas now. Split right down the middle. Amen. Some are still patriots and love the country and others hate it and despise it. Don't realize that it's the same one that blessed them and gave them free and free range and free will and all these things and blessed them financially and they're turning against it. That's because they're blinded by the prince of the air. The Bible said the prince of the air, the demons of hell, have blinded them of the truth unless they repent and see and believe the gospel. Amen. Listen, we were all blinded too. Mm-hmm. Amen. Thank God for the light. Thank Hallelujah. You, you brought us out of that darkness, thick darkness. The Bible Amen. said gross darkness. Yes. My Lord. Mm. Ooh. I think that uh, there's plenty of uh, Christians that are kind of like missing in action. Mm-hmm. While all of this is happening, mm-hmm. devil's got us so busy doing other things mm-hmm. instead of the most important things. Right. Serving God. Yes. Amen. Missing yeah. in action. Some have disappeared altogether. Mm-hmm. No, they didn't get raptured either. They jump ship. Some have jumped ship. They've backslidden. They're in a dangerous place right now. Some are back in gross darkness. And that's why we can't judge them. We have to love them back. We got to pray them back. We got to trust God for their souls. Amen. Hallelujah. Too many have fallen asleep at the wheel. Amen. But the truth of the matter is they better look in the rear view mirror because Satan's sitting in the back seat. And before you know it, he'll want to drive. Mm -hmm. He'll take the wheel from you. Isaiah chapter, this is what's happening in the world today. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 14. And judgment has turned away backwards. There is no more justice in the world. It's full of corruption today. Only the strong 
and the, and the wealthy run the ship, so they think. But that's what happened. The justice has turned its back. It's walking away because man is corrupt. Then it goes on to say, and also it says, <clears throat> that's judgment. Then justice is standeth afar off. Judgment turned away backwards. Justice standeth afar off. Why? Listen, for truth has fallen in the streets and man has trampled over it. They don't want to hear the truth. They want power. They don't want to hear the truth. They want control. They don't want to hear the truth that Jesus loves them and God, Jesus wants to save them. They don't want to hear that the Holy Spirit wants to convict them so they can, and convince them that they need to live for God. That's truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. They don't want to hear that. So they mock us that do believe in it. They put it down. They'd rather believe in monkeys. They came from monkeys than they came from God. That's how far a man's fallen. Mm -mm -mm. But they have fall truth has fallen in the streets. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 5 says it like this. He that giveth and, and gleaneth in the summertime, or I should say he that gathereth in the summer, is a wise son. Talking about farmers. He that gathereth in the summer is a wise son. But he that sleepeth in harvest is a son that causeth shame. Now we know we're talking about there about farm. But I like to put it this way for us today. The harvest to God is about souls. If you're not in the harvest for Jesus, if you're not working the harvest, what did Jesus say himself? Pray to the Father of the harvest, for it's his harvest and it's white on the harvest. It's overripe, in other words. Mm -hmm. Pray for what? More laborers for his harvest. More laborers. Mm -hmm. Because it's his harvest. And we should be working in that harvest field. And I'd like to say here for a moment that I believe a lot of people in this particular church have been trained, have been hungry, and desiring to do more for Jesus. And I appreciate those that are, have that evangelistic outreach, that evangelistic heart, that goes out and feeds the homeless and the poor and witnesses and hand out tracts. And I commend all of you for doing that. Amen. But I don't know who I'm speaking to today, but maybe somebody just fell asleep during harvest. Amen. But it's time to wake up. Amen. Amen. It's time to wake up. Some of you used to go out and do those things. And you don't do it no more. What happened? What happened? The harvest today for us, is ain't, it ain't picking beans and it ain't, you know, planting tomatoes, gardening, it's souls. Amen. 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 You ain't going to stand up before the Lord with a bushel of tomatoes. <laughs> you better have a bushel of souls. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Proverbs said, he that winneth souls is wise. Right. Now, I'm going to eat the tomatoes. <laughs> Amen. I'm, I'm going I'm to eat the beans, everything else that's planted. But I ain't going to take the time to plant. I'll go to the store and buy it so I can give my Jesus more time for souls. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. And nothing against anybody got a garden. Amen. Drop some stuff off of my house. I don't care. But I ain't coming come picking it. Amen. I'm going to be studying the Bible. Amen. Amen. I remember when Jesus, the Holy Spirit, told uh, the disciples in the book of Acts, they were all uh, ministering and, and a lot of the the leaders, Paul, James, John, all of them, and you know, Peter, they were all giving themselves out to the church so much and doing all the things, setting tables and having the dinners and the meals and the fellowships and all these things. And the Holy Spirit told them, no, 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 you, you pick certain people to do that kind of stuff. I want you, the leaders, to give yourselves to more Bible reading, prayer and studying, amen, interceding for the saints. That's what we're supposed to do. Amen? Amen. Some preachers just say, don't have that. Luxury, they got to do a little bit of everything. You do what you can, know what you can't. Amen? Amen. Woo. Far too many church folks are sleeping at the wheel. Mm. Listen to Mark chapter 13, verse 35 through 37. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master, that's Jesus, of the house cometh. Could be in the evening, could be at midnight. Or it could be when the rooster, rooster crows. Or in the morning. Lest coming suddenly 
He finds you sleeping. Mm, 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 mm. Last verse. And what I say, I say unto you, and yes, unto all, watch. So he says, watch. Watch what? Watch and pray. Watch for the signs of the times, for the days are evil. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, redeem the time. That means make good use of it. Don't waste time. <clears throat> and the older you get, the more you realize that. When you're young, we waste all kinds of time. The Bible says, the, the, uh, the youth is wasted on the young. We foolish. We do stupid things. But as we get older, we realize, man, time does go by fast, don't it? They're caught up to me. Mm -hmm. So make every minute count for the Lord. Amen? Amen. Please, stay awake. Yeah. Don't fall asleep like some have and have departed from the faith. Man, that breaks your heart. Mm -hmm. You know, especially as a pastor, you, you, you minister to people, you, you put your whole life into them, you know, as for teaching them and d discipling them and helping them and training them, and then you see them walk away. My Lord, that breaks your heart. Imagine what it does to God. Mm -hmm. That hurts the pastor and the rest of the, the body of Christ feels that pain when, when one person's missing. Whether it's vacation or you're sick or whatever, some everybody feels it. Mm -hmm. At least they should. Amen. That's true. But you know, really, don't fall asleep. So many of them yeah. fall asleep. Don't backslide. It ain't worth it. What should it go back to? You came out of that, so you yeah. you could be set free. You came out of what you were into, so you won't have to go through all that stuff anymore. And then they go back to it, like the Bible says: the dog goes back to the vomit and the pig to the mud. That's how God relates it to a backslider. Thank God he's married to the backslider. Don't give up on him. You know, just got to keep on praying for them. Amen. But more, can you imagine if the trumpet blows and they're backslidden? Can you imagine? Left behind to face all that that's coming? Oh, no, 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 no. Give me Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You can keep all that. So listen, if that stuff was all that, I'd still be back there. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have lasted this long serving God. Amen. In spite of everything else, in spite of every attack, in spite, of, in spite of all the problems in life. I'd rather go through the problems in life, sickness in life, all kinds of things, financial crisis with Jesus than without Him. Amen. Because at least Amen. when I die, I know I'm going to see Jesus. Amen. I'm not going to be in a backslidden state, die and go to hell on top of all the other misery. Oh, I wish I had a witness. Come on, you talk it right. That's right. Mm. You talk it right. Bible rather the Bible teaches us he'd rather you come back to your first love, Amen. which is Christ. Yes. And then he said, come back to your first works. Do your first works all over again. Fall in love with God all over again. Do what you used to do all over again. Do what you stopped doing all over again. 